Greetings to all my tech heads out there in the Kev Techify Nation. And if you're new here, welcome. In this episode, we're going to look at packet processing with static routes. We'll be discussing static routes and packet forwarding. This episode is part of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials for the CCNA. I'm Kevin here at Kev Techify. Let's get this adventure started. We're going to work through an example here. PC1 is going to send some information to PC3. PC1 addresses the packet to PC3. Once it's addressed, it then forwards it to the default gateway. That's the next hop in there. We, we put a layer two frame around it. We send it to our default gateway. Our default gateway is right here, the interface on R1 that's on our network, but it's connected to the router that gets us to other places. When R1 gets that, it takes the frame off, it de-encapsulates it. It looks at the destination ad address, that layer three IP address. When it finds it, it looks through its routing tables. It looks through, is there a route to this network? Is there a route to this network? The network we're going to is the 192.168.2.0 network. It looks through that. Now, it could have a couple different ways of how it gets there. There could be a static route set up that says, okay, if you're going to network 192.168.2.0, that's our destination network. If you're going there, then you can either go to the next top IP address or go out this interface. If it doesn't match any of the routes in our routing table, hopefully there is a default route that up on R1 that says, if you don't match any entries in my route table, we're just going to send you on to the next device. We're going to send you on to R2, either using the next top IP address or the exit interface. R1 encapsulates it in a frame, sends it off to R2. That, that it gets up to R2 then. R2 de-encapsulates the layer two frame off of it, looks at the destination MAC address, or sorry, the destination layer three IP address. It sees, it sees that destination network address, looks through its routing table. Is there a static route for it? If there's a static route, we'll send it out the exit interface or next top IP address down to router three. If there's no entry, there should be a default route set up. Thing. If you don't match anything here, we're going to send you on to R3. But it's not a good idea to set up default routes on R2 here, especially if it's a middle router. That packet then goes from R2 down to R3. R3 then gets it, de-encapsulates it from its layer 2 frame, looks for the layer 3 destination IP address. It identifies that destination IP address as a network it knows. It's a directly connected network. Right here, it's the 192.168.2.network directly connected. It identifies that as the directly connected network. We can deliver it. We send it off, but before we send it off, we have to build our layer two frame. If router three knows the MAC address, we can build the layer two frame. If not, the layer three or sorry, router three needs to send out an ARP request. Sends out an ARP request, PC3 hears it, sends back its MAC address. Once router three gets that MAC address, we can build the layer two. We can then send that information onto PC3. PC3 can get it, de-encapsulate it with the layer two frame, de-encapsulate it with the IP address, and then process that accordingly. That's how the static routes get information across our network. It was my pleasure to provide you with this wonderful episode on packet processing with static routes. If you like this episode and you got value out of it, please click that like button, give a five star rating, leave a comment. This all helps me bring you more great content. Please take a minute to subscribe to my channel. All of my socials and contact information are on my website, kevtechify.com. There, you can find out how to get all these episodes in video and podcast form. In the upper right is my playlist for my series on switching routing and wireless essentials for the CCNA. Thank you so much for watching this episode of my series on switching routing and wireless essentials for the CCNA. Once again, I'm Kevin, 
This is Kev Techify. I'll see you next time for another great adventure.